completely humbled and honored to receive this award today. It's nice when you're chosen by someone. It's not like it's not like you're pick, being picked first or last on dodgeball. But when you get chosen by someone higher than us all, it makes this award and what I do more meaningful. You typically don't get into any type of ministry for the award, but for the rewards that come from above. So I want to tell you about my journey of how I got to this point, if I may. I've been going to church for a very long time. I'm not going to tell you how long because I don't want you to know how old I am. But I can't remember a time where I wasn't in church. My mom was involved in church, she was in the choir, she went on a mission trip, only one that I can remember, she was on the single softball league, which is weird, I come from a family of girls and we don't play sports. My husband and I also met at church, but shortly after we got married, we quit going. So there was a time in my life where I wasn't going to church. But when I found North New Baptist Church, that is where I had a deeper understanding of what it meant to be called into the ministry. I started off small by just going to the pastor's Wednesday night service. Then I got involved in Sunday school. That's what I was used to. You go to church on Wednesday, you go to church on Sunday, you give your tithe, and that was it. Then my Wednesday night, or my Sunday school led into a Wednesday night Bible study, so I went into that. I was in the class for my age group, but I had two foreign children in my house. I had no idea what it meant to be a parent. I, these people were raising toddlers, and I had teenagers, and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling my group. I just was there because that's what I was supposed to do. So I prayed a lot. I was in a very dark moment of my life at work, at home, at church. I just didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. So I prayed. Well, when you get an answer, I did what any other good Christian girl would do. I ignored God. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to stay in my rut because that's what I'm comfortable with. Well, when my Wednesday night Bible study dismembered, that's when the knock on my heart was like, okay, this is where you're going. So I marched myself across the street and I went into the student pastor's office and I said, I need to volunteer somewhere and this is where I'm told I'm supposed to go. So he didn't laugh at me like I thought he was going to be. He went in, let me show you around. And that's how my student ministry got started. I thought he was crazy. I had two at home, but I had no idea what to do with him. But he wanted me to be in charge with 30? That's nuts. God was crazy. So I was involved in choir already. So I was also teaching Sunday school, 7th and 8th grade Sunday school. They were even more foreign than the kids that I had at home. And then it came, we, our church was starting our student choir ministry, and I felt another knock on my heart. So I was like, okay, I need, this is where I need to be. Okay, come on. So the Bionic Award is deeper to me than just the words that it stands for. Believe it or not, I care. I was called for this job. I guess I asked for the job, unbeknownst to me what it would entail. It's more than a yearly mission trip that we go on, whether it's to Austin, whether it's to Memphis, or whether it's to wherever we're going this year. It's building relationships with these students, and that's where my passion is. It's having fun with them. It's listening. It's laughing with them. I laugh at them sometimes but it's all in good fun. This group has made me want to become a better person, and I thank them for that. 
and I thank Tom for allowing me to stay here, but I also thank God every single day for giving me the opportunity and the ability and the strength and the stamina to, to do this. It's more than just singing to old people at the retirement center. It's more than serving soup at the soup kitchen in Austin. It is being with my kids. I'm Aunt Jackie to them, and that's what I love more than anything else I can say. So with that, 